content to end all content. We talk about Juan Soto and Mike Trout every single day, I feel like. And now we can actually assign them to somebody. Here's what we're going to do. You ready? Jack McMullen, Peter Apple, Aram Layton, Just Baseball's Ultimate Draft. We're playing GM. You've got the entire active player pool available, whether it's Max Scherzer at 37 years old or 16-year-old Ronnie Mauricio. Mauricio, Isn't he like 19 already? just got his driver's license. (laughs) He just got his driver's license. Um, Everybody's available. Goal of the game is to win as many championships as possible over the next five years. Mm. Which team is best? For the next five years, we're going to do it. We're going to go draft order. We're going to snake it. We are picking one of each position. We will have a DH five starting pitchers, two relief pitchers. This is yes. You could say, I want Mike Trout and I want Garrett Cole and I want Max Scherzer and I want Juan Soto. Or you could say, I might want the 24 year old emerging superstar who might become best player in the game over the next five years. There's a lot of wrinkles to this, Pete. You're excited. I'm so excited. I, I didn't, we were talking on the mailbag is the question, who's going to win the MVP of the next five years? And it's a loaded question because there's 10 to 12 in each league that could realistically do it. So I'm excited to see our teams at the end of this and uh, have a little bit of back and forth. But before we start, I have a really important question because it's going to impact how I draft. Uh, is this under the assumption that bases are normal sized or the new larger bases? Larger, new larger. absolutely larger. Okay, so that, that let me hold on. I got to three inches is a is a substantial amount of inches yeah no yeah, uh, i've been told in certain <laughs> yeah i i had to say it it was a layup thank you for hitting that layup arm good job uh, better than syracuse right. <laughs> oh yeah right but they could hit their 30 footers yeah um all right here's what i've got up on my phone i've got a random order generator i have smallest value at one largest value at three formatting in one column Peter, you're number one. Aram, you're number two. I'm number three. Uh, that, I have the worst pick. All, all right. <laughs> what do you mean? I have no. That's the one or three. generator. That's you the generator. One. That's that's the numbers you're assigned that's... in the generator. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. I hope Hi. you get two now, Mister Pessimistic, <laughs> huh? But so my, Peter's one, Aram's two, <laughs> I'm three. Unless Aram, you want a different number. What do you want? No, 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 no. Two's okay. <laughs> you don't want to swap? I'm okay with two. Okay sequence generated and the order is three two one loser i pick i pick first arm picks second and peter picks third i'm in and we get to stake right i get two picks in the next round correct yeah and i I never pick consecutively that's great Correct. <laughs> That's, uh, this is a really well structured draft. That's great. I'm, what do you? I just put them in the random number generator. Do you want to do fine. it? No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Okay. You know what? Instead of playing woe is me, just pick a good team. Cool. Now you have an excuse arm. Yeah, the, the, right. What do you think I'm doing right now? I'm building it in. The, the excuse that. is built in. You win a championship or you make an excuse to, to win win. I have the I, last pick in the draft. I'm screwed. There's yeah, no, there's going to be nobody be left. Three people. <laughs> left. There's three people. I've got a draft board. I think I might take all of these guys. So <laughs> I'm going to fill out my first spot on this sheet right here. Who do you think the first pick should be for the next five years? No, Jason, you should do it. Yes. Yeah. It, should be, it should be a right fielder in Washington. Juan Soto is the first overall pick in this thing, right? Wow. Okay. Juan Soto, huh? Are you putting him in right field? I'm putting him in right field. Okay. We should probably, yeah, we should definitely write down the names so that we don't draft the same dude twice. I mean, right. it won't be the worst case in the world. You'll just be like, Hey, I already have him." but I I'm a, I'm a guilty. Like that's the thing I always do redraft the guy already drafted. I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. So I'm aware of that. All right. Good. One soda so number one. one. Gets tough now. All right. You're it's tough now. <laughs> It honestly gets tough because like the, the concept of, I'm not going to do this every pick, but I just think this is an interesting concept. The concept of Shohei Otani is an interesting one, right? Because like, yeah. he's not, he's not Mike Trout at the plate, but he does two things pretty well. So if you're building a franchise, I feel like you want that guy. So I'm going to just, I'm going to take Otani. Wow. Right. Are you going to put him? That's the problem. Are you going to put him at your DH spot? Are you going to put him in your starting pitcher role? What are you going to do? He gets to do, to do both can- for me, right? does get to do both for you 
It's a complicated so player on a roster. Yeah, he's going to DH and he's going to play outfield for me. So now I get a double counter. That's how I make up for not having back-to-back picks. That's why I did this one. All right, I'm putting him in your DH role for now. Sounds good to me. Perf. Okay, I, with the third pick, I am going to take because shortstops. No, I want Fernando Tatis Jr. Yeah. That's probably pretty good. That's shortstop. It's a decent pick. And. Oh, yeah. And. See, and. for this one right nice. now, I'm between two guys, Mike Trout and Ronald Acuna Jr. And the thing is with Mike Trout is you're going to deal with the injuries, of course, but he's still the best overall player in baseball in my mind. But then Ronald Acuna Jr. also coming off a knee injury, but he's 23, 24 years old. He's going to be totally fine. There's no wrong answer here, I don't think, but I'm just going to go with the best player in baseball who still is Mike Trout. Give me Mike Trout in center field. Okay. Okay. There we go. RMU. Mm. Woo. There's, there's a lot of talent on that board. There's a lot of talent on that. There's board. some good players left for sure. So you just took, you just took trout. There's a, there's a scenario here. Where like I'm, I'm, I'm really looking at Jose Ramirez. I'll be honest. But I don't that at all. Acuna is so freaking good. So freaking good. And young. And it, yeah, I, I got to go Acuna. Acuna. I'm not worried about the injury at all, honestly. Me neither. Like, it's a fair point to bring up because you can't talk about Trout's injuries and then just ignore Acuna's torn ACL. But I'm not worried about the ACL. Um, I'm going Acuna. Great pick. Fair. Okay. Um, I've got two in a row. I am going to take Jose Ramirez out from under you. you wow. Know. So I'm going to put Jose Ramirez at third. Arm, are you putting Ron Acuna Jr. in center? Or are you putting uh, him in right? I'm I'm tentatively putting him in right. It's going to depend on who, who's available. That's why I'm just going to go out. We should just put three outfield spots, and then we'll we'll explain how we're going to allocate those guys after. Jack, you're going. I just went Jose Ramirez at third, and my next pick is after I search Jacob deGrom's age, he's 33. He's going to turn 34 on June 19th. That means he's going to be 39 years old when my window's over. So I'm going to go with the younger and not as electrifying, but close Walker Bueller. Ooh, wow. First pitcher off wow. The okay. I like wow. that. One. I like that's not a bad pick. That is not a bad pick. I like I think, that. I think Walker I Bueller, I genuinely believe when DeGrom's reign is over, Walker Bueller is going to be best pitcher in baseball. I freaking love that, Jack. I love that. And I agree with you, you freaking beast. Good pick. I know. Thanks. All right. Oh, also, before we get rolling, I'm a sweatsuit guy now. I just wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> oh, I'm this guy's all State in on college hoops. Black. I'm wearing the black Ball State sweatsuit here. Look at that. I mean, wow. you've got the jacket that just kind of like falls over the ass. Like I'm kind of living large with this sweatsuit. See, this is what you're missing on YouTube. I don't discourage you. Thank you for listening to wherever you listen to the podcast. But yeah. if you want to sprinkle in a little bit of sweatsuit, Jack McMullen in a hotel room with, you know, those basic framed photos behind you. Yeah, well, um, I out. think they're all Cleveland. I think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and then oh. other generic buildings there, too. <laughs> That's fire. Am I up now? Large. You are up. You're up now, Arm. Because you don't, Ooh. you never get consecutive picks. You remember? No, no. And we were, yeah, I'm aware of that one. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> do I go super offense or do I go get a pitch? Has Peter picked a pitcher yet? I've no. not picked a pitcher yet. I'm also not very worried. Ah, yeah, I'm, worried. I'm not. Give me, give me Vladdy. Mm, damn it. Mm. That was my next pick. Nice yeah, I'll take one. Miguel Cabrera, basically. <laughs> That's just, oh. no. um, now it gets, I keep saying now it gets difficult. It's really not difficult. Um, I'm going to, I already have an outfielder. You know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to take Corbin Burns. That's what I was thinking okay. before. That was the decision. I was between Vladdy and Corbin. Literally my decision as well. Yeah. I'm <laughs> glad I made it easier on you. You did. Yeah. And then I will take. See, I'm, I'm really debating between Bryce Harper and Luis Robert. That's my debate right now. Because you have the young and up and coming Luis Robert, but you have Bryce Harper coming off an MVP. We're trying to win for the next five years. Harper's going to be good for five. Harper's going to be great for five. Robert could be an MVP, you know, in the next five years. But Bryce already is an MVP. Bryce like, already is, is an MVP. This is the uh, conundrum. But and Luis Robert impacts the game in more ways. While you think, I'm just going to keep making it more difficult on you. Luis Robert can yeah. play center. Harper stuck to a corner. Harper's more consistent offensively. Robert had the injury. I'm, you know what? Dude. No, I'm, give me Bryce Harper. Just, I want Bryce Harper. I'm, okay. he's the best. I want him. Okay. Good work. Back, back around to me. Right. Or back around to Jack now. Back around back to me to for consecutive picks. Oh, yeah. You, you got to just always remind of the consecutive. No, is it yeah, an arm back? It's back to arm. Uh, oh, it is back to arm. Yeah, You're I right. just did back to arm. Whoa. You, you tried, man. You tried. Yeah. All right. You ready for this one? Yeah. Kyle Tucker. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. I hear you. So you have Acuna, Kyle Tucker, and Shohei. Who else do you have? And Vladdy. Vladdy. Kyle Tucker, I'll just put him in left. For now. Okay. Wow. We're wow. going to have a competition between Acuna and Tucker to see who can play the best defensive center field uh, if we don't get a center fielder. But for nice. now. I think the answer is probably Acuna, right? Pro yeah, probably. But Tucker's, Tucker's sneaky good out there. He could do it if they really needed him to. He really could. Yeah. Okay. Consecutive picks for me. I am going to pull the trigger on Luis Robert because he's 24 years old. He's a gold yeah. glove center fielder and he's got the um, build of a possession wide receiver. Um, yeah. I think he could be best player in baseball in the next couple of years. Um, and then I'm also going to grab my number two and that's 26 year old Shane Bieber. I think Bieber's nice. stuff is disgusting. And I think a one, two of Bueller and Bieber is very, very hard to beat for the next five years. Can't really hate that pick. I want to, but can't. Arm, you're up. Back to you again. Whew. All right. I got to satisfy pitching. Garrett Cole still on the board? He is still on the board. Yeah, give me Garrett Cole. Nice. I'm going to take a pair of teammates, both on the Dodgers. I want Trey Turner at second. Yeah, that was my thinking. Damn. Like Mookie Betts in my wow. outfield. How is Mookie still? You guys are idiots. I'm just kidding. Oh, that was a sick pick. Mm. That fired you up, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you am. I'm feeling that. very good. Feeling very good. You, you have done that one right there. Yeah. My outfield is Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Yeah. We're winning next year. We are winning the championship next year. I don't know about the next four. Now it's it's Jack or me. I, no, it's I'm, you. I, you know, I got a mental block on this thing. It's, I guess I'll just always sandwich between you guys. Um, ooh, okay. Now, now it's interesting for me because – there's a few different routes I can go. And like, honestly, we're building a team here, right? I technically have two pitchers with Cole and Otani. I like my offense, my infield. I have no infielders. So, I mean, that's, that's really where I got to look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Mr. Platinum glove, Carlos Correa, $340 million man at shortstop. Wow. Second shortstop off the board. If you don't count Trey Turner. So it's right. my pick, or no, it's you, Jack. Yeah, me for two, right? You for two. We got to iron for this two. out. <laughs> you no, know, we just got to we got to settle into the order here. We're we're early in this thing. Uh, we're less than halfway home. So I've got Walker Bueller and Shane Bieber as my one two. I've got Luis Robert in center, Juan Soto in right, Jose Ramirez at third. 
Uh, I'm going to go get a catcher, first catcher off the board. It's going to be Will Smith. Will Smith thumps. He's getting better reach. defensively. It is Great a reach, player. but I wanted to get Will Smith before anybody else got Will Smith. Yeah, he's so – You got, did that. You did that for sure. Yep, absolutely. I've got Will Smith. And then at short, I'm going to go with Wander Franco. Can't hate it. Cannot uh, hate it at all. Not a fan. <laughs> That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. You can pick now. See if your team gets better. Yeah, it'll definitely get better because right now we've got the ghost at second base and third base, and uh, I'm going to get somebody there. Uh, ooh, I have an interesting one. that I. So I'll take you through my team real quick again. Otani at the DH slash pitcher. Vladdy at first. Correa at short. Outfield is currently Kyle Tucker and Ronald Acuna. And then we have Garrett Cole as the other pitcher. I am going to go. Now I'm now I'm now I'm really overthinking this one. Yeah. I'm going to go Max Muncy and put him at second. Wow. Brutal. Wow. Coming off of an ACL tear in his or UCL. ACL tear in UCL. his arm. <laughs> UCL tear in his arm. Don't give a shit. He's going to be perfectly. <laughs> the yeah, ACL of the arm. <laughs> the ACL, the ACL yeah. of the arm. It actually is. But he'll, he'll be perfectly fine. He's not a pit. Even if he's, if the pitcher's success rate is 98% on Tommy John, what's a second baseman slash first baseman going to be? You forgot it's about Nick and Zoll in your second base. <laughs> yeah, true. He's coming up. It, wh- where are you going to put Pache, by the way? Yeah. Um, well, why do you think center field's open? Yeah, good point. Good point. Totally forgot about that. Peter, you for two. I need to shore up my pitching as I have Trey Turner, Fernando Tatis Jr., Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts. And I'm just going to grab the best pitcher in baseball right now. I will take Jacob deGrom. Yeah. Washed. <laughs> Washed. <laughs> and then I will follow up with that with – Zach Wheeler. Okay. I like, I like, I like Wheeler. That's that's a workhorse right there. He is 31. That's my only worry. I was going between him and another guy, but he was just so unbelievably phenomenal next year. And I think he's going to do that at least for the next three. And I'm clearly building my team for the next three. Yeah. All right. My turn. I'm going. We're going all offense. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, I mean, not a bad pick at all. Not a bad pick. I assume you're going to put Acuna in center and Judge in right? Yeah, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a timeshare. All of these guys are capable of playing center field in a pinch. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with Acuna in center. Okay. Jack, two to you. McMullen. He's pondering. Pondering. Tyler O'Neill in left. I knew it. It is. Wow. It. What? Why? I knew it. <laughs> Why do you do that? What a crazy pick. No, it's like he's a phenomenal player, but like it's he thinks forward. Tyler O'Neill is gonna turn into like a super like a like an MVP. I mean he could. He could. I, I don't think he'll ever hit enough personally. Mm. I think he'll be great. I think he'll be all-star, but I don't think he'll ever hit enough. I'm I'm gonna go get a guy that's gonna hit everything for the next five years, right? Nick now. Madrigal. Jordan Alvarez is my DH. Good pick. Wow. That okay. was a good one. Okay. That's a good one. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So back to me. I think I got to address pitching at this point, right? I mean, it's 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 about time. Give me Finn. <laughs> give me Julio Arias. That was my yeah. next pick. Why is he still on the board? Are you crazy? He's young. He's nasty already. It's a great pick. Okay, so I need a catcher. I need a first baseman. I need a third baseman. I need a DH. I need two starting pitchers and two relievers. Take us through your team real quick. So I have Trey Turner at second, Fernando at short, Harper in right, Mike Trout in center, Mookie Betts in left. I mean, you could put Mookie in whatever. Those are my three outfielders. Then I have Corbin Burns, Jacob DeGrom, and Zach Wheeler. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. At third base, I want Rafael Devers. 
Pete mm. said, fuck defense. Yeah. Um, Don't care. Yeah, my team's not great defensively, but we rake. We rake like nobody's business. And then on the pitcher's mound, I'm going to go a little bit off base here. You're going to go get a four, aren't you? No, I'm going to go get Josh Hader and put him as my. Damn it. I was actually going to do that. I was going to do that. First reliever. Good thought. Good thought. I like that. Nice. It's only worth it if you're going to get the best. I want the left handed throwing machine. Yeah. That was good. That was good. I like that. Back to you, Arm. That's. You know, like when, when you're doing fantasy football and you basically were all in on one pick and then that guy goes right before you and everyone's like, yo, like make your pick already. I was like, I, you had so much time to get ready. I was like, that was, I went all in on that one. Um, that's basically where I'm at right now. Uh, so I have third base open right now. I've got two pitchers, two relievers open third base. Like, Machado is great, but it's phenomenal. I think he's 378, be 347, 4, 489 last year. I still think Arnold. he's I think he's better than that. Colby and I were talking on not gambling advice. We think he's gonna be even better next year. I, I agree. I really do. I I mean I think he's, he's just, just so he's 29. It, the, the team just seemed like they were stale all around. Like it was it seemed like a contagious type of thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Machado at third. <clears throat> Good nice. With the best defensive left side of the infield, I think, ever. Yeah. Machado and Correa. Yeah, your team's pretty That's low. phenomenal. Wow. I mean, you've got, like, a combined 200 miles an hour coming out of those arms. <laughs> yeah, actually, side, that is so crazy. The left they side of my so infield fast. made an incredible amount of errors last year. Fernando Tachi Jr. and Robert Eldevers. <laughs> <laughs> They're or actually just going to watch balls roll by them. No, I think Tatis will be better. I know we all agree on that, but that is really funny. It's <laughs> just like last year, not a good look for my, my no. left side of the infield defense. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go get Jesus Aguilar. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to go get Jesus Aguilar. Why would that be sorry, funny? Yeah. yeah why is that funny? That's I'm a sorry. good pick. Uh, <laughs> I've got three starters to fill, two relievers, first base, and second base. I'm going to get Sandy Alcantara for $56 million. Wow. You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it should be bon- – I know. Like, I'm going to be interested to see who uh, whose payroll is the lowest, too. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that'll be good. Right? I know we didn't really build that into the decision-making, but it- it'll be funny to see the payrolls. Mine's going to be um, terrible. And then I'm going to go get my first baseman right now. I'm going to go get Matt Olson for the next five mm. years. I like that. I like that. Dang it. Thought he could maybe slide to me, but nope. Okay, back to me. Hmm. Man, I really wanted Sandy. I really wanted Sandy. Um, let me, let's, let's take a quick break to run through who we have. Peter yeah. just recently ran through who he's got. Um, I've got three starters right now. Walker Bueller, Shane Bieber, Sandy Alcantara. My DH is Jordan Alvarez. My catcher is Will Smith. I've got Matt Olson at first. I've got Wander Franco at short. Jose Ramirez at third. Tyler O'Neill, Luis Robert, Juan Soto left to right in the outfield. Yeah. Arm your team. I got Otani at DH pitcher, and then Vladdy at first, Muncie at second, Correa at short, Machado at third. Outfield is Kyle Tucker, Ronald Acuna, Aaron Judge. And then, of course, Otani also is the pitcher, Garrett Cole, Julio Arias. And that is my squad right now. And on top of that, we are going to add Brandon Woodruff to the rotation. Mm. Nice. Mm. 29 nice. years old. Actually, happy belated. I believe it was his birthday yesterday. Whee! So happy 29th to Brandon Woodruff. So I'm going to go a little off the beaten path here. And I'm going to take Adley Rutschman as my catcher. Yeah, first prospect off the board. If you're gonna take one prospect, I think that makes the most sense. It he's does. already he's already major league ready. He's a right catcher. Now. Like like if he doesn't hit, you're still getting defense, and exactly. he's he's going to hit some. And the catching position is so bad offensively that even if he's yeah. bad, quote unquote, if he gives you 100 wrc plus, he's 12 percent above average. Yeah. And then for my next pick, I will take Logan Webb. 
That's a good Ooh, one. He's betting on Webb. I'm betting on Webb. I think he's, he's betting on the shift. Awesome. <laughs> he's betting on guys just not grounding into the shift anymore. You don't like Logan Webb? No, I do. I think that's yeah. a good it, It's going to be interesting to see how the ground ball guys are impacted by no shift. Yeah, 100%. Very interesting. Yeah, Logan Webb's going to get shelled now. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No. My sub two ERA <laughs> take is in the shitter. <laughs> Bigger bases, too. Yeah, bigger, bigger bases. bases. I mean, that's I've, screwed. I've planned my whole draft around the bases. I don't think you guys have been able to pick up on that yet. But there's a reason why I'm tra- drafting these guys. It's based on the bases. Yeah. Uh, okay. I need another pitcher. But, but I could. I could, I could, I could. I'm going to go Liam Hendricks. Stick him in the closer role. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. Mm. You just want who? Liam Hendricks. <laughs> Liam Hendricks. <laughs> and it's my turn or your turn, Jack? Peter was just going, mm, and then mm. I'm just thinking. Yeah. So, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait so what'd you say? My picks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's me for two now. Uh, So I've got second base to fill. I've got two starting uh, pitchers and I've got two relievers. So I'm going to fill my first reliever role and take 102 mile an hour cutters um, as my closer, Emmanuel Class A. Yep. So Class A. Dylan Floro. Does he throw 102 mile an hour cutters? He throws 92 mile an hour sinkers. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I was torn between two guys at the second. One of them's Ozzy Albies. The other one's Cattell Marte. Mm. And I think I like the defensive versatility of Marte. Um, and Marte's like, a more consistent offensive player, too. Yeah, and, and like you said time and time again, Aram. Ozzie stop Albies switch is, hitting! <laughs> stop switch hitting. Please. Cattell Marte is fine as, as an offensive player there. So I'm going to go with Cattell Marte at second base. I, I swear to God, if I ever meet Ozzy mm-hmm. Albies, first thing I'm going to say is, Ozzy, great to meet you. Second thing I'm going to say is, please stop switch hitting. Like, I, I, if, he, if he punches me in the face, that's fine. But I'll, I'll die happy knowing that I, I tried to – I tried. I tried to stop him. You tried to stop him. I'm going to go with another starter. Uh Give me Trevor Rogers. Cool. Wow. I think Trevor Rogers would be would be discussed a bit more. I know everyone thinks he's great, but I think he'd be discussed a bit more if he didn't miss a month and a half of the season with a, you know, with a family issue and personal reasons, which kind of cut his season short in the middle of the second half when he was dealing and then he had to get back into it a little bit. I think he would have been up there with anybody uh, if it weren't for the time he missed and he's young and just keeps getting better. I, I'm a big fan of T raw. I want, I know he's not going to pitch next year, but I want Tyler glass now. <laughs> Why? I want him. <laughs> I want him. I want Why do you Tyler want Glass now. Why do you want him? Explain. Because I think when he's in the game, he's a top 10 pitcher overall in baseball, and he's still young. I'm with you. I'm curious to see how he comes back from this. Me too. If he's as physical a fastball guy. You know what I mean? Like He's my fifth he starter. Is, I think he will be. He's your fifth? He's my fifth guy. Yeah. Just, having the back end Tyler Glass now at the five is kind of yeah. fun, yeah. He's a back end guy, you know, just in yeah, case I, I need that. him. Just close to the rotation. And so I have a first base and DH spot left at first base. I'm just going to take my man, Freddie, because he's still going to be awesome. Yeah. Shocked. You didn't go with Joey Votto actually. And then, Oh no, I'm done. I just picked with two. I'm done. Oh yes. Correct. I'm done. Go ahead. Arm. So all I have left is one reliever. No, Uh, no, no, no. no. You have one starting pitcher, your catcher and a reliever. You should have two more spots. Yeah. No, Catch because Otani double counted. So let's go with the six man rotation for me. Let's go with the six man rotation. Okay. Also, you don't um, have a catcher. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that position. That matters. It does matter. Yeah. Catcher. <laughs> catcher. And I need Nino. Catcher. Jeez. Uh, 
I'm going to hold off on catcher for a minute. I got another starter to pick up here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with probably my favorite pitching prospect in baseball. Uh, I know people would be like, why are you not taking Shane Boz? Grayson Rodriguez. Mm. Be Grayson Rodriguez right now. Yeah. That's the second guy selected that has yet to make his MLB debut. Peter took Adley Rutschman. You took and on the same team. Same team. More. The battery. The battery. Man, okay. I've got two. I've got three picks left. I've got the last pick of the draft. Um, I've got two starter roles and a reliever role to fill. Um, I'm going to go get, for the sake of veteran presence, the future first ballot Hall of Famer Max Scherzer is my four. I mean, not Scherzer bad. just signed a three-year deal. I've got him age 37 to 42. Uh, I'm <laughs> willing bad. to have him be the ace for the next two years and then taper off while Bueller, Bieber, and Sandy kind of shoulder the load. Um, so Max Scherzer is my four. And I don't have a single left-hander in my rotation right now. I feel like I need one. And I'm going to go get a 99-mile-an-hour fastball, too, and a guy that I think can – have Don't some serious it. helium. Wow. I'm going with Shane McClanahan here. I knew it. Wow. Ooh. You love Shane McClanahan. He's I love McClanahan. You'd rather have McClanahan nasty. for the next five years over Boz? Ye- it's close. It's really it's close. freaking close. It's close. It's really, I, I, yeah, it's, it's a coin flip for me, I think. I think it's a coin flip. I think McClanahan's a freak. And he's a lefty. So, I mean, I'll take the lefty probably. Um, all right. Now I need a catcher and a reliever and a reliever. I'm going to go. Mm, I'm going to go JT Real Muto catcher. Mm, think. Why? Mm. Why Tentatively. over somebody like Alvarez Tentatively. Tentatively. or Moreno? Well, Alvarez isn't going to be ready for a year and a half. True. Moreno, you know, okay, here, here's my thing. And this, this is, I'm glad you guys brought this up because this is something that I'm kind of, I'm always talking about with the prospect side of things. Like people are, are really excited about the ceiling of a prospect. Wouldn't you be thrilled if you're the Blue Jays, if Gabriel Moreno became JT Real Muto? Wouldn't you be over the moon? Or you yeah. actually want him to be better than that? What are the I odds that be he's better than that? Whoa. Right. So that's, that's kind of like, I think it's an interesting, that's why I love this draft. It's like a thought exercise for that is I catch myself in that sometimes too. I'm like, Oh my God, like I got to go with Moreno. And I had the same thought process where I'm like, wait, I'm hoping Moreno becomes JT. Right. So that's why I lean, unless I'm, am I forgetting a big league catcher that's better? Salvador Perez. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, no, JT Romito. Yeah. Jacob Stallings. <laughs> or Hale Faro. He's not, he doesn't qualify. Yeah, the only catcher, like the notable omissions of catcher that I'm thinking of right now are Grandal and Wilson Contreras. Yeah, I'm good. That's probably and some of those prospects. Well, and the prospects, yeah. Moreno is close. Like that's that's it's a pick I wouldn't bat an eye at if either of you did that. Yeah. I'm gonna do or or MJ, MJ, MJ Melendez, 41 jacks and double and triple last year. I mean, that's not even a bad pick either. Um Pete recently said uh, he should be the five hitter for the Royals on opening day. I'm, I'm here MJ for Melendez, it. right? I, I'm here for it. Like he rakes. <laughs> yeah, throw lineup. that guy in the lineup. Throw that guy in the freaking lineup. I mean, if you look at their lineup right now, he should be the five hitter, and you could maybe argue that he could be a four hitter in their line. He hit 41 jacks last year. I was saying that the catchers combined for almost 100 <laughs> between Salvi and him. It's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go off the beaten path here, and I'm gonna take who I think is the best hitter available over the next five years. Julio Rodriguez. No. Oh. I think that's Bo Bichette. And I'm taking oh. Bo Bichette in my DH spot. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who else were you thinking about? Me? Yeah. I was thinking about Pete Alonzo. I was thinking about Marcus Semien in my DH. I was thinking about Byron Bucks. I just want the best overall hitter available. And I think that's Bo Bichette out of Bichette all of them. Could, Bichette could absolutely lead the league in doubles. I think he's phenomenal. And if Fernando Tatis Jr. gets hurt, I could put him at short. You can even put him at second if you want. I got some positional versatility as well. Yeah, and he kind of looks like that caveman from Ice Age. 
You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? He kind of looks like exactly him. So th- there's like two bonus points there. Very rude. What do you think Doesn't about he? that pick, though? I don't remember, honestly. Didn't that pick kind of send shockwaves through this podcast? Yes, it did. Yeah. That was- and then for my reliever, my last pick of the draft, I'm sticking with the guy who I believe in more than basically any reliever out there. It's Camilo Duvall of the San Francisco Giants. I want him. I want him. I want him. And because he looks like a velociraptor and he's sick. He I want sick. him. And he's going to be the Giants closer soon. And the potential best reliever in baseball arm. So That's why you come to the Just Baseball show. <laughs> close close your mouth. Just Baseball <laughs> show. Our expert analysis, he's sick. <laughs> and he looks like a velociraptor. Raptor. It's, it's a scouting report. Looks like Velociraptor. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean by looks like a Velociraptor? He just looks like a freaking nature. He looks like, like a Velociraptor. With his, with his hair, with the braids back, he just gives me prehistoric dinosaur vibes that throws 100 and has a and white that's what you look slider. for in a reliever. That's, that's what, you, what you look for in a reliever. If I give you a lineup of dinosaurs, would you be able to pick out the Velociraptor? Oh, yeah. Okay, would the, the T-Rex be the DH? Small arms. Small, Small arms. arms is actually important in hitting. You know, there's a new thing that I've been hearing about that maybe T-Rexes were not scaly lizards, that they might have been with feathers. It might have been covered in feathers, and those things might have been wings. There are new things coming out about T-Rexes. Look it up. They might have been covered in feathers, and those might have been like emu wings because it if looks a lot like emu deal, skeleton. If the lockout deal falls through – um, I'll definitely go down that rabbit hole. I'll just become a dino <laughs> I'm guy. I'm just saying. Does dinosaurs. I mean, you and Miles Garrett, dinosaur guys. I watched Does a 20-minute YouTube video yesterday. It was sick. I, I, I am really interested in that stuff. But it's just funny how, like, it's so like it's it's so set in stone, and then all of a sudden they're like, wait a second. Everything that you've been told for the last 20 years wrong. actually might all be wrong. Maybe. We don't know. Last like, thousand oh. years. <laughs> now cue title card and intense music, right? Everything you've been told for the last thousand years. Not what it seems. What bop, it seems. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> so, um, Arm, you got your last pick? I got to get a reliever. <sighs> you know, here's my thing. is is I was, like, looking at a prospect that just throws a bajillion miles an hour that could be just go straight to the pen. But at the same time, there's not that many that are, like, close to, to big league ready in that. So you're looking at Hunter Green is what you're saying. I would, yeah, but he's like not even. I wouldn't even want him in 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 that spot. I'd rather try and figure him out as a starter. The fastball just doesn't have the life that I, I would want out as out of a reliever. Yeah, um, one hundred three, but no life. One hundred three, but flat. I mean, look at the numbers. Bruce uh, Gratterall. Look at Gratterall. Yeah, yeah, that's just just dives right into barrels. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Rizel Iglesias. It's a good pick. I think he's yeah. so disgusting. I like that. Because that's hard. Everything cuts and dives. Yeah, he's so good. He's, he's almost a reverse splits guy. So I'll yeah. get my lefties out. I was between him, Ryan Presley, and Duvall as my reliever. And I went with the Velociraptor. Yeah. Um, yeah last pick of the draft. Us. I'm going to keep one of the best swing men in baseball as one of the best swing men in baseball. And I'm going to go with Michael Kopech to oh, fill out the bullpen. Jesus. Why you say Jesus? Like, what do you what do you think about he, that? He, he doesn't excel at, at any of the 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 things he does right now. He's he's not a starter. He's not that great in short relief. So they use him in middle relief right now, and he's okay at that. I like him. <laughs> I like him. It's my team. <laughs> you make no. me feel so bad when I give my and my reasons. Great. No, that's fair. That's fair reasoning. We're going to put this out on Instagram on at just baseball show at just baseball fans. We're going to have you guys all vote who you think drafted the better team. Should we go for the next all, five years for the yes, next let's five go years? Let's go over our team. I'll go first at catcher. I got Adley Rutschman at first base. I have Freddie Freeman. Second base. I have Trey Turner shortstop Fernando Tati Jr. Third base, Rafael Devers in let's say left field. I have Bryce Harper. Center field, I have Mike Trout. Right field, I have Mookie Betts. And then in my DH, I have Bo Bichette. And then my starting pitching staff looks like Corbin Burns, Jacob deGrom, Zach Wheeler, Logan Webb, and Tyler Glasnow. And then in my bullpen, I got Josh Hader and Camilo Duvall. 
That's you want to go, Jack, team. or me? That's a good team. You can go. I just want to say that Harper Trout bets is it's hilarious. It, it, it's impossible to beat in the outfield. No, nah, yeah, it's I, that one's gonna get that one's gonna reel in the votes. I think that one's gonna yeah, reel. No, that that's with, the with popularity the one. That's, that's big the, name fishing. Yeah, he Pete, Pete did it well there. He knows how to fill the seats. Yeah. <laughs> He knows how to fill the seats. He's smart. He He's knows how to man. play the hits, man. Well, yeah. well here's the thing is, is Peter knows that owning a major league team is not profitable and right. you have to have the big names. So he's, have he's just trying to break even with his franchise. Yeah. You have to sell out. Yeah. He's trying to break. You have to sell out and everyone has to have 10 hot dogs each to profit. I'm just trying you know, to that's sell what tickets. Pete, I'm just yeah. trying to sell tickets. I'm not trying to win games. I'm trying to no. Sell games. And he's also feeding this for me. He's putting salt, extra salt in the food. So they buy more waters, tapeworms in the food. So they eat more. He's got it all. My payroll is incredible though. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you might be at a billion dollars. Through the trillion. <laughs> I have so many guys worth $400 million. Um, so this is my squad. Vladdy at first, Muncie at second, Correa at short, Machado at third, Tucker in left, Acuna in center, Judge in right. And then the rotation is Cole, Urias, Woodruff, Rogers, Otani. And then, I, sorry, I forgot to mention Real Muto at catcher. And then relievers, Liam Hendricks and Rizel Iglesias. Dude, you have almost as good of outfield as I do. Aaron Judge, Ron Acuna Jr. and Kyle Tucker? Could, in a few years, could be, could be right that is, oh, I mean, you, could, you have three potential MVPs on your outfield, and so do I. They just don't draw. They don't just. They don't fill the seats the same way, you know. Honestly, Jack's outfield is loaded too. <laughs> like the outfield is just so loaded. What's your yeah, Jack? Stupid. Uh, Will Smith is my catcher. Matt Olson is at first. Second base is Cattell Marte. Wander Franco is at short. Jose Ramirez is my third baseman. My outfield from left field to right field is Tyler O'Neill, Luis Robert, Juan Soto, Jordan Alvarez is my DH. My starting rotation is Walker Bueller, Shane Bieber, Max Scherzer, Sandy Alcantara, Shane McClanahan, and my two bullpen arms are Emmanuel Classe and Michael Kopech. These three teams are loaded. And they're different, right? It's not like pick the best players right now. It's, you know, let's have some strategy here. We've got a mix of the youth and we've got a mix of the veteran presence. I mean, it's, overall, it's we, we stayed away from, from older guys for the most part, you know, until it, until it was just like they're in your lap. I mean, Scherzer was on the board for a while. DeGrom was on the board for a while. Even Harper, you know, he's not older, but compared to the young, the youth movement that we're seeing in baseball, like Peter had a decision to make that, you know, we weren't expecting him to have to make that decision that late. Like Harper's the MVP, but it kind of shows just how much age really matters in this game especially with all of the young talent right now, the influx of young talent is crazy in baseball. And it's, it's definitely a big impact on this whole draft process too. I have yeah. a question for you two. Both of you went, well, Jack, you went Cattell Marte arm. You went Max Muncie. Why didn't you guys want to pick Marcus Semyon? Cause I would have picked Marcus Semyon probably over both of those two guys. Uh, maybe not Muncie, but it's not a bad question. I like Semyon. Semyon's such a good defender. And I mean, he, he really hit last year. I just, I don't know. I think I have more faith in Max Muncy just being a consistent bat. Uh, I, I needed another left-handed bat really badly too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Semyon, I'm, I'm a little worried that he's not going to get on base enough. You know, he doesn't walk. Uh, there was some swing and miss a little bit. I, I would, I like, I just think Muncy's just almost MVP offensive type of numbers before he got hurt. I mean, that's kind of what we we're talking about is this like, is, is he potentially the MVP? So I, I just love his offensive upside. Yeah. And then for me, Semyon's a right-handed bat granted way more power than Cattell Marte, but Marte is a switch hitter. Uh, Marte is also three and a half years younger. Um, and I think he's got a, a, a couple more tools in his belt than Semyon does. I think Marte can do five things well when Semyon can do three things well. You know what I mean? Aram, I have another question for you. Yeah. Do you think Bobby Witt Jr. will end up being better than Correa? No. Okay. I. <laughs> it's again, yeah, okay. it's, like it's, it's new a question. question. <laughs> new question. Did the thought cross your mind to put Bobby Witt at second? No. Thought crossed my mind to put him really? at second over Marte. See, I, I think, okay, I think when it's all said and done, Witt could be better than Correa. I'm just never going to 
bet on that, right? Like it's just, it's so rare to be better than arguably one of the best shortstops in baseball right now. Like I'm going to take the present best shortstop because so many things can happen to Bobby Witt over the next however many years. And it seems like and this is coming from the prospect. This is coming from the guy who's constantly dreaming on the next generation of baseball. He's saying, trust the present now because you've seen the hit rate. The hit I, rate is not great. It's so brutal. And, and it's amazing. We have this like confirmation bias with prospects. I love the psychology of it too, where it's like when, when the guy hits, you know, we, we focus on that and we almost forget a lot of the, like how highly touted a lot of these other prospects were that fizzled out or didn't quite hit their ceilings. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd be thrilled if Bobby Witt was, I think he can be that way. Uh, I, I definitely think he can be similar because the defense is so freaking good for Witt, even though they're going to stick him at third. Yeah. I also find it interesting. We all stayed away from Austin Riley. Yeah. I, it's just third base old. is so good. Like, I know. There's so many good third basemen that I, I want track record, right? Like there's so many dudes with a track record of being a beast. I know. Yeah. And defense. Right. Like who do you think but, is a better hitter for the next five years, Devers or Riley? I, you Devers know what, like me thinking about it, maybe I should have gone Austin Riley over, over Rafael Devers. No, I, I think like Rafael Devers, Devers is the I better like bat, but Riley led the league, led the third pace position in defensive run saved last year. Yeah. He was kind of a great defender last year. If he can be half that defender that he was last year and then put up the same offensive numbers that might end up being more valuable than Rafael Devers because he's a hole over there at third. Granted, he has improved on defense, but he's still not great over there. That's where I was. That's where I was for sure back and forth. And that that's the pick I'm looking back on where I'm like, "Uh, maybe I could have gone Austin Riley. And I, I, I think, well, first, they're both going to be amazing for the next five years, but I think Riley has MVP in his future. Yeah, quick fire, a couple of names that um, notable omissions maybe from these teams. I, I gave them quick thought. Arenado is getting a little bit older, but Arenado I still think is the gold standard at third. Hmm. Defensively? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jose Ramirez is the gold standard at third. Defensively, it's Matt Oh, Chatter. defensively. Matt or Chatter. Cabrian Hayes. Or Cabrian Hayes soon. Or Cabrian yeah. Hayes, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Um, so Arenado gave me gave me quick thought for a moment, but I'd so much rather have J-Ram for the next five years. Uh, in the outfield, I seriously considered Brian Reynolds I did. I, and I, Riley Green. I considered I Riley Green, too. Riley Green pick. I didn't really consider Brian Reynolds. Not with Darling Marte is an interesting omission, too. I mean, he, he was really freaking good last year. We talked about it on the Mets uh, GM episode, but given that he's 32 – um, I yeah. think he's going to age well, but you know, he's 32. And then I think Buxton is the first undrafted free agent, right? He might be. I think he has to be Brandon. Wow. too at second base. I mean, that was another one. I mean, the guy had 39 jacks. I think yeah. Max Freed is a snub. Max Freed's going to be really good for the next five years. Still young proved in the playoffs and his teammate Ian Anderson. I love the, that duo in Atlanta. Yeah. I like them too. Um, other starters Nola. that I had. Nola's you think Nola? Nola? Nola. Yeah, Nola. Um, Boz, obviously, notable omission here. Um, Giolito. I, I was thinking more so Cease than Giolito. Mm. Yeah. Barrios. Manoa. I, I had Barrios on my board as well. Jack Leiter, I think, is another one that someone could have gone with. Um, and then I wouldn't have I wouldn't have shit on anybody if they went with Nick Lodolo, to be totally honest. If they I wanted would've... a lefty. Yeah. That's it's too early to put him in your. So he's, you think he's probably going to be a top 15 pitcher for the next five years. I think there's a chance that he, I think there is a chance though. Yeah. I think it's really health dependent. I I think that's it. Like I think I would go Boz over him though. Boz is safer at this point. Boz is safer. Um, All right, Peter, tell us where we can find these graphics and vote. So you can find these graphics and vote. We're going to put it on Twitter at just BB media. And we're going to put it on Instagram at just baseball fans. Also just baseball merch episode yeah. link to episode description. The link is in there. That's all I got for you. We're going to Sweet. vote on Friday. Content, content, content.